Five of Pentacles. Imagine standing in the cold, harsh wind, feeling completely alone and cut off from warmth and comfort. The Five of Pentacles in Tarot captures this essence of struggle and hardship. It's a card that speaks of financial difficulty, emotional isolation, and physical ailment. But wait, look closely. Beyond the figures braving the snowstorm is a brightly lit church, a symbol of hope and refuge. The Five of Pentacles is a stark reminder that even in our darkest time, help is often closer than we think. It's a call to seek out support, to not let pride prevent us from asking for assistance, and to remember that perseverance can lead us back to the light. Join me as we delve deeper into the meaning of the Five of Pentacles and discover how this powerful card can guide us through the toughest challenges. The suit of pentacles, also known as coins, discs, or diamonds, is one of the four suits in the minor arcana of the tarot deck. The suit is associated with the element of earth, which brings it its energies of stability, practicality, and material aspects of life. Pentacles are closely linked to financial matters, wealth, and material possessions. They reflect our relationships with money and our attitudes towards prosperity and abundance. Work and career. This suit often pertains to work and career and professional growth. It highlights the importance of hard work, dedication, and the pursuit of goals in the material world. Health and physical well-being. The earth element also governs physical health and well-being. Pentacle cards can indicate one's state of health or the need for a balanced lifestyle. Home and environment. Pentacles are connected to the home life, real estate, and the environment. They emphasize the importance of creating a stable and nurturing environment. Practicality and realism. The suit encourages a practical, realistic approach to life. It underscores the importance of being grounded, making plans, and taking concrete steps to achieve goals. Symbolism and imagery. Earth element. Earth is stable, reliable, and fertile. It represents the physical world and the tangible aspects of life. Colors. The colors commonly associated with pentacles are green and brown, symbolizing growth, nature, and stability. Symbols. Pentacles often depict coins or discs, emphasizing material wealth. Other symbols include gardens, fields, and natural landscapes, representing growth and prosperity. The earth element brings a grounding and a stabilizing influence to the suit of pentacles. Overall, the suit of pentacles and its earth energy highlight the importance of nurturing our material and physical world through practical effort, patience, and grounded approach to life's challenges and opportunities. Keywords for the Five of Pentacles Upright Hardship Poverty Isolation, struggle, financial loss, illness, adversity, rejection, abandonment, insecurity, scarcity, exclusion, homelessness, unemployment, vulnerability, lack, deprivation, difficult times, suffering, and neglect. For the reverse five of pentacles, the keywords are recovery, improvement, end of hardship, renewal, financial recovery, healing, hope, support, relief, reconnection, assistance, overcoming adversity, optimism, new opportunities, stability, reintegration, strength, positive change, uplift, upliftment, renewal of faith. <laughs> Symbolism. The Five of Pentacles is a tarot card that conveys themes of hardship, struggle, and adversity. Here's a detailed explanation of the symbolisms. Upright Five of Pentacles Imagery The traditional imagery of the Five of Pentacles often depicts two figures, typically a man and a woman, trudging through a snowstorm. They appear poor and destitute, with one figure usually on crutches or bandaged. Behind them is a church or a building with stained glass windows illuminated from within, symbolizing spiritual sanctuary and help that is nearby but not yet noticed or accessed by the figures. 
the key symbolism, hardship and poverty. The figures, tattered clothing and visible suffering, symbolize material and financial difficulties. It reflects a time of scarcity, loss, or economic hardship. Isolation. The characters are outside in the cold, suggesting feelings of isolation, abandonment, or being left out in the cold, both literally and metaphorically. Illness and suffering. The physical ailments depicted, such as the bandages or the crutches, represent not only physical health issues, but also emotional and spiritual suffering. Neglect. The illuminated church in the background symbolizes hope, help, and the support that is available, but not yet recognized or utilized by those in need. It indicates that assistance is within reach, but the individuals are either too focused on their suffering or too proud to seek help. Spiritual and Material Struggles The juxtaposition of the figures against the church highlights a disconnect between spiritual support and the material well-being. It may suggest a period where material concerns overshadow spiritual ones. Reverse Five of Pentacles Key Symbolism Recovery The reverse position often signifies an end to hardship and the beginning of recovery. It suggests that the period of struggle is coming to a close. Renewal and hope. There's a renewed sense of hope and optimism. The figures may begin to notice and access the help available to them, signifying a turn towards better circumstances. Improvement. Financial or material conditions may improve. It could also indicate recovery from illness or emotional distress. Support. The reverse card emphasizes the importance of seeking and accepting help. It signifies that support is being acknowledged and utilized, leading to positive changes. Resilience. The card in its reverse positions can highlight the inner strength and resilience developed through facing adversity. It underscores the growth that comes from overcoming challenges. General interpretation, the Five of Pentacles serves as a reminder that the difficult times that everyone faces at some point, but it also emphasizes that support and help are often closer than they appear. Whether upright or reverse, this card encourages a focus on resilience. The Numerology of Five In numerology, the number five represents a range of dynamic qualities and themes. Here are some key aspects associated with the number five. Freedom. The number five is often linked to a strong desire for freedom and independence. Those influenced by this number crave adventure and new experiences. Adaptability. Flexibility and the ability to adopt change are hallmark traits of the number five. This number is comfortable with change and often thrives in dynamic environments. Curiosity. A natural curiosity and a love for exploration are associated with the number of five. This number seeks to learn and experience as much as possible. Versatility. The number five is versatile and multi-talented. It can easily juggle various tasks and adapt to different situations. Restlessness. There can be a sense of restlessness and impatience with routine. Those influenced by the number five often seek variety and excitement. Adventure. A love for adventure and a willingness to take risks are important traits of the number This number is often associated with travel, exploration, and trying new things. Social interaction. The number five is social and enjoys interacting with others. It often brings a lively and energetic presence to social situations. Resourcefulness. The number five is resourceful and can find solutions to problems in creative and unconventional ways. Sensuality. This number is also linked to the senses and sensuality, often seeking pleasure and enjoyment in physical experiences. 
Overall, the number five in numerology represents a vibrant, dynamic energy that embraces change, seeks freedom, and thrives on new experiences and adventures. Zodiac Association Taurus The Five of Pentacles is often associated with the zodiac sign of Taurus. Specifically, the first deacon of Taurus, April 21st to April 30th. Taurus is an earth sign known for its stability, material concerns, and value of security and comfort. This association underscores the card's themes of financial and material hardships, as well as the stubbornness or persistence that might be required to overcome such difficulties. Planetary Association Mercury The planetary association for the Five of Pentacles is Mercury, Mercury governs communication, perception, and travel, highlighting the potential for misunderstandings, miscommunications, or logistical issues that could lead to or exacerbate the struggles represented by this card. Additionally, Mercury's influence can point to the importance of mental agility and adaptability in navigating difficult times. Elemental Association Earth the element associated with the Five of Pentacles is Earth. Earth represents the material world, physical health, and practical concerns, which aligns with the card's focus on financial loss, physical illness, and tangible hardship. The element of Earth also emphasizes themes of stability, resilience, and the need to remain grounded during times of adversity. These associations help to enrich the interpretation of the Five of Pentacles, providing additional layers of meaning that connect the card's imagery and the themes to broader astrological and elemental principles. Yes or no? Upright, Five of Pentacles, no. When the Five of Pentacles appears upright in a yes-no reading, it generally signifies a no answer. The card represents hardship, struggle, and adversity, indicating that the current circumstances are challenging and unlikely to yield positive outcomes at this time. It suggests that now might not be the best time to proceed with plans or expect favorable results. The reverse Five of Pentacles, yes, with caution. When the Five of Pentacles appears reversed in a yes-no reading, it leans more towards the yes, but with caution. The reversal indicates recovery, improvement, and the end of hardship. It suggests that the worst is over and positive changes are on the horizon. However, it also emphasizes the need for careful consideration and taking practical steps to ensure sustained progress and stability. While the answer is more positive, it still advises prudence and awareness of potential risk. These interpretations can provide guidance in decision-making, reflecting the broader themes of the Five of Pentacles in different contexts. An Affirmation for the Five of Pentacles Upright Even in times of hardship, I am open to receiving support and assistance. I acknowledge my struggles with grace and resilience knowing that this challenging period is temporary. I trust that there is hope and healing on the horizon, and I am learning and growing through these difficulties. I embrace the strength within me to navigate through this phase with courage and faith. An Affirmation for the Reverse Five of Pentacles I am emerging from a period of struggle and embracing new opportunities for growth and renewal. I acknowledge support and resources available to me and welcome positive change into my life. I am grateful for the lessons learned and the strength gained through past hardships. I am open to a future filled with stability, hope, and prosperity. Five of Pentacles Summary The Five of Pentacles is a tarot card that symbolizes hardship, struggle, and financial or material difficulties. It often depicts two figures, usually impoverished and in distress, navigating through a harsh environment, symbolizing the challenges of poverty, illness, or exclusion. 
The card highlights themes of isolation, insecurity, and the feeling that being left out in the cold, both materially and emotionally. Despite the challenging imagery, the Five of Pentacles also carries a message of hope and the importance of seeking support. The illuminated church or the building in the background represents the help and spiritual support that is available, though not immediately recognized or accessed. It encourages resilience, reminds us of the importance of community and support, and suggests that although times are tough, relief and recovery are possible. In the reverse position, the Five of Pentacles signifies the end of a difficult period and the beginning of recovery. It emphasizes the importance of recognizing and accepting help, indicating that improvement and positive changes are on the horizon. This position often brings a message of renewed hope, financial or emotional healing, and the potential for overcoming adversity. Part 1. The Five of Pentacles Upright The cold wind cut through the narrow alleyways of the old city, bringing with it the stinging reminder of winter's cruelty. Snow lay in thick, dirty patches on the cobblestones, trodden down by the endless footsteps of the city's inhabitants. Among them were Timothy and Eliza, two figures huddled together, trying to find warmth in each other's company. Timothy was a man in his late thirties, once full of ambition and hope. His tall frame now stooped under the weight of life's burdens, and his eyes, once bright with dreams, were dimmed by the relentless hardships. Eliza, his young daughter, clung to his side, her small hands red and raw from the cold. Her coat, several sizes too big, was patched in numerous places, a testament to their struggle. The two moved slowly through the streets, their destination unclear. They passed by bustling market, where vendors shouted and the aroma of fresh bread and roasted meat filled the air. The scents were a cruel reminder of their hunger, and Eliza's stomach growled loudly. Timothy squeezed her hand, trying to provide comfort, though he had none to give. As they wandered, they came upon a grand cathedral, its tall spires piercing the gray sky. The warm glow of candlelight and the sound of hymns drifted out from its open doors. It was a place of solace and hope for many, but for Timothy and Eliza, it felt like a fortress, keeping them out with its walls of stone and silence. Timothy paused looking up at the stained glass windows depicting saints and angels. He wondered if their prayers reached only those figures that were holy, or if they were destined to remain unheard, like the many others who passed by without a second glance. Eliza tugged at his sleeve, her eyes wide with curiosity and in. Papa, can we go inside? she asked, her voice barely a whisper. Timothy shook his head the bitterness of pride and shame welling up inside him. No, my dear, we don't belong there, he replied softly. They continued their journey, seeking refuge in the shadows of the alleyways. The night was drawing in, and the cold grew harsher. Timothy's mind raced with thoughts of how to survive another night. They had no money, no shelter, and their few possessions offered little comfort. He felt the weight of failure pressing down upon him, each step a reminder of his inability to provide for his young daughter. As they walked, they came across a small dilapidated building with a sign that read, Shelter. The windows were boarded up, and the door hung loosely on its hinges. It was far from ideal, but it was the only option they had. Timothy led Eliza inside, the musty smell of decay greeting them. Inside... The room was filled with others who shared their plight. Faces gaunt and eyes hollow, each person carried their own story of loss and despair. Timothy found a corner where they could rest, wrapping his arms around Eliza to keep her warm. She nestled into his embrace, her eyes closing as exhaustion took over. As Timothy sat in the darkness, he felt a profound sense of isolation. Despite being surrounded by others, he felt utterly alone in the struggle. The weight of his responsibilities and the fear of an uncertain future nodded a spirit. He looked down at Eliza, her peaceful face, a stark contrast to the turmoil in his heart. In the silence of the night, 
Timothy whispered a prayer, not to the saints or the angels depicted in the cathedral's stained glass, but to the cold, uncaring sky. He prayed for strength, for a miracle, for anything that could lift them out of their misery, and as he held his daughter close, he hoped against hope that the dawn would bring a better day. Part 2, The Five of Pentacles Reversed Morning light filtered through the gaps in the boarded-up windows of the shelter, casting a soft glow over the huddled figures within. Timothy awoke to the gentle warmth, a stark contrast to the biting cold of the previous night. He looked down at Eliza, still asleep in his arms, her face serene despite their hardships. Slowly, the shelter began to stir with the sounds of life. People stretched and yawned, shaking off the remnants of their restless sleep. Timothy carefully extricated himself from Eliza's grasp and stood, his joints protesting the movement. He looked around, seeing the familiar faces of those who had struggled and shared their plight. But today, there was something different in the air, an unspoken hope that perhaps things could change. Eliza awoke and rubbed her eyes, looking up at her father with a sleepy smile. Good morning, Papa, she said her voice bright despite their circumstances. Good morning, my dear, Timothy replied, his heart lifted by her resilience. Let's see what the day has in store for us. They left the shelter and stepped into the city, the sun shining brightly in the clear blue sky. As they walked through the streets, Timothy noticed small acts of kindness that had gone unseen before. A shopkeeper handed out free bread to those in need. A passerby offered a warm coat to a shivering child. In the street, musician played a cheerful tune, bringing smiles to weary faces. These simple gestures sparked a glimmer of hope within Timothy. He realized that even in the darkest of times, there was light to be found. They made their way to the market, where the same vendor had seemed indifferent before now greeted them with a warm smile and a loaf of bread. Timothy thanked him profusely, the warmth of the bread in his hands a tangible reminder of kindness. As they continued their journey, they came across a community center with a sign that read, Help for those in need. Timothy hesitated for a moment, then pushed open the door. Inside, they found a bustling hub of activity. Volunteers sorted donations, prepared meals, and offered assistance to anyone who walked through the door. A kind-faced woman approached them, her eyes full of compassion. Welcome, she said. How can we help you today? Timothy explained their situation, and the woman nodded understandingly. We can provide you with food, clothing, and temporary shelter, she said, and we have resources to help get you back on your feet. For the first time in what felt like an eternity, Timothy felt a sense of relief wash over him. He thanked the woman, and she led him to a small, clean room where they could rest. Eliza immediately began exploring their new space, her laughter filling the air. Timothy watched her a smile tugging at his lips. Days turned into weeks, and with the support of the community center, Timothy found a part-time job that provided enough cover to cover their basic needs. It wasn't much, but it was a start. The kindness of strangers had rekindled his spirit, and he found himself looking forward to the future with a sense of optimism he hadn't felt in years. One crisp autumn afternoon, as Timothy and Eliza walked through the park, he felt a deep gratitude for the journey they had endured. The struggles they had faced had not broken them. Instead, they had, had emerged stronger, more resilient, and filled with the newfound appreciation for the small blessings of life. They passed by the Grand Cathedral once more, its stained glass windows glistening in the sunlight. This time, Timothy didn't feel the pang of exclusion. Instead, he felt a sense of belonging knowing that the strength they had found within themselves and the support of their community had brought them through the darkest of times. As they stood there, Timothy whispered a prayer of thanks to the sky, not for miracles, but for simple acts of kindness and the resilience that had carried them through. He looked down at Eliza, who smiled up at him, her eyes filled with hope. We've made it, Papa, she said softly. Yes, my dear, Timothy replied, his heart full. We have.